Camilla's wrathful relationship with Kate and Meghan revealed when joining the royal family. Camilla extended the hand of friendship to Kate and Meghan Markle when they joined the royal fold, an expert has claimed. Royal expert Emily Andrews said the Duchess of Cornwall is always welcoming of other royal women. Ms Andrews added that Camilla extended the hand of friendship to Kate and Meghan, and has a good relationship with both. Writing in the Sun, Ms Andrews said, always welcoming of other royal women, she extended the hand of friendship to both Kate and Meghan, and enjoys a good relationship with both. Kate met William when they were both students at the University of St Andrews. The pair got married in 2011 after dating for more than eight years. Meanwhile, Meghan and Prince Harry met in July 2016. They went on to announce their engagement in November 2017 and tied the knot in May 2018. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are now living in California after quitting royal duties in 2020. Meanwhile, the Duchess of Cambridge recently photographed Prince Charles's wife for country life to mark her 75th birthday. Royal commentator Danielle Elza said Kate and Camilla had become a formidable power couple. Ms Elza said that on paper the pair don't have much in common besides both having caught the eyes of future kings. Writing for news.com.au, she added, but something in the last little while has very clearly shifted on this front and somehow Camilla and Kate have become a formidable, and very friendly, power couple. Most obviously, they seem to really get on like a house on fire. Kate stepped out with Camilla and the Prince of Wales for a rare joint engagement back in February. The two duchesses also shared a carriage for trooping the colour and garter day last month. Ms Elsa said Camilla and Kate's bond is so remarkable as it is an abject departure in royal history. She said, the point is, never before have we seen an alliance quite like this of Kate and Camilla, two women who grew up sans titles and noble lineages and yet in whose hands now rests the future of the monarchy. When the sad but inevitable comes when the Queen passes away, the coronation of Queen Camilla and later the arrival of the new Princess of Wales will represent a new era where the two most powerful women in the monarchy are closely aligned. Having a queenly coalition not only willing but happy to work in step will have implications for the firm as a family and as an institution. The Duchess of Cornwall reached out a hand of friendship to Meghan Markle and helped her when she was going through a difficult time with her father, sources told Vanity Fair's Katie Nicholl. They continued, it was Camilla who told Charles that walking Meghan down the aisle was the right thing to do. She is a very family-oriented woman, and she really wanted to help. Nicholl described Camilla's own family as her core, who said her first family motto has rubbed off on Prince Charles. Sources explained how the Duchess of Cornwall had been instrumental in trying to help heal the fractured relationship between the Prince of Wales and Prince Harry. A source who spoke to Vanity Fair said the family-oriented Camilla reached out to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at several points. A source added, I know Camilla did her best and it was a tremendous sounding post and support for Charles who was deeply concerned. The comments came after Princess Diana biographer Tina Brown claimed that the Duke of Sussex can't stand Camilla, and could deepen her break with the royal family by going after her and Prince Charles in her next memoir. Talking with him Telegraph magazine ahead of the release of his new book, The Palace Papers, Brown, 68, said he duked she had never made peace with Prince Charles and Camilla's relationship, and she doesn't want Camilla to become queen. Meanwhile, royal biographer Tom Bauer has also claimed that Meghan was branded that cheeky one by the Duchess of Cornwall who thought she was a selfish troublemaker Cornwall who thought 